How's it going? As stated at the end of last video, this video will be about the Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. All of these Gillette gels, I, I want to know what, why there are four different Gillette gels on the market. Dad has a Gillette gel in there that's not even on the market anymore, I don't think. And uh, just uh, put a good product out and leave it at that, right? No. I put all of these on, a, on an envelope last night, just a little squirt of each. And they do all four smell different. I think that's the one I like the smell of the best. Just a neat, neat smell. This one's not bad. This kind of reminds me of uh, AFTA. AFTA, the aftershave balm. Hey, why not, right? Let's do that. I was going to use this. Let's go ahead and switch to that. So, yeah, I'm going to use all of these and <laughs> see what's going on. See if there's any difference. I've already used this, which I, I liked. This was not slick on the first pass, but was on the second. I think that had to do with my beard growth. Too much. Uh, three three days growth. It's a lot for anything to handle. But uh, get some hot water on my face. I washed my face with shampoo. And as our cousins from across the big pond say, I'm not rolling out to the shower. But I'm going to get entirely too much. And let's get going here. Uh, that might be the right amount. We'll see. Okay, so not exactly like AFTA, but kind of close in smell. Have any of you ever used a brush on stuff like this? Would you do that to your brush? Poor brush, right? Dropping it. It is much easier to apply a lather with a brush, I think. Okay, well, I've got plenty of this Hydra Gel. This is foam, this is gel left over. Put these on the sink over here in two separate spots. Just rinse this off real quick. As stated before, same razor, new blade this time. I have the Gillette Wilkinson sword again, and I really like that blade. And I'm going to start this shave on, this is my marker progress. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. I'm going to start it on setting four. And for the title, it's just simply Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. So here goes the Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. Pass one with the grain. And what a difference a fresh blade makes. <laughs> that is so amazing. I meant to say, because giving you my pitiful English accent and saying that I'm not rolling out of the shower, Samoa Australian. It reminded me though, 
Has have any of you heard from his lordship? I sure would like to see his lordship again. Those videos are absolutely hysterical. If ever you're in a uh, bummed out mood, all you have to do is head over to Paul's station, his channel rather, Paul H. Films, and watch His Lordship's Two Shaves. They're so funny. Uh, well, that's a good first pass. Let's get a rinse and get into pass two. Is this bloody thing on? Right, right. Oh, yes. Get the gel from off the sink here. I've got my mole there. And, uh... In another spot right there, just below it, just by pushing it a little, a little bit, got a little cocky with uh, <laughs> the new blade. I'm getting just a little more. That ought to, that amount ought to cover my mustache, I would think. The scent on this out of the bottle or on that card was quite a bit different than it is on my face. Honestly, I don't care for it. And just to drive you uh, crazy, if you're OCD, I'm going to leave that there. Just to drive you crazy. <laughs> All right. Get my water hot again. There we go. Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. I'm not going to leave that. It's driving me crazy. Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. Pass to cross grain. Same setting. Setting number four. There's a reason for that. Okay, so with this pass, I can tell you what I honestly think. I honestly think that this stuff is the same goo with a different color that was in that other one. I don't have much against it. It is not... This was on the end of the, the bottle, the can there. It's not as slick as a soap such as even Arco, okay? So Arco is really inexpensive. This is not as slick, nor do I think it's as, it could be as protective. I don't know. I'm going on slickness here. Um, uh, it's slick enough. I'll tell you, I'll say that. It's slick enough. So if you're a diehard Gillette fan, okay, I, I understand. Maybe uh, it's what you grew up on or whatever, and that's fine. If you like it, you like it. I'm not here to knock it. I'm here to try it.
Yeah, not, not being careful. I got my chin pretty good. Well, not my chin, but that. Mole. That feels good. Do I talk now? Oh, right, right. Surprise, surprise. Pass three. Again, way too much. That's okay. It just comes out of there like... <sighs> like crazy. Like a cat running from a bunch of dogs. I, th th this, uh, not much on the scent. It's okay. It does feel slick. We'll sit that over there for the cleanups, pickups. Right. I'm gonna put this on two. Setting two, it's a Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. This is setting two on my Maracula proce uh, pro Progress process. And third pass against the grain. Such an efficient razor, there's not much left. And uh, I knew that a third pass would tell me what I want to know with this stuff. And I'll still look, I'll still look good tomorrow even though tomorrow is not dress up. At my church, it's called, tomorrow we do it once a year, it's called Friends Day. You bring a friend and we have a cookout. We have a quick sermon. And a cookout. And everybody's casual. Can't complain about that, can you? All right, to mention Mr. Humphreys again. Let's do his method on cleaning up the mustache. And with the mustache, I do dial this down yet again to setting one. I take it easy on the mustache area. So I start from the side, work your way up. And then I do the same from the inside out and work my way Diagonally, because my hair grows diagonally, so I have to shave up diagonally that way to get against the grain. Here we go. Wow, that's almost too mild. I'll just keep going and see. This is very mild. I'm still being very careful. I'm 
got myself there and here. This is still slick. So you can go back behind it, that's nice. I left that on one, didn't I? Put that back on two. I'm gonna get done sometime today. <laughs> Little more right there for some pickups. Pickups. Okay, so I know that I have been a little tough on this stuff. But I just got a really good shave from it. I'm chasing baby bottom smooth. I shouldn't do that. I'm I'm certain, but that's okay. I like what's what's left is still slick. Add some water and what you have up here that you didn't shave off with your razor is enough for some pickups. I call them touch ups. Touch up pass. All right, well, very nice. Very nice to be baby bottom smooth. You just feel different. Okay. I've been using this Kroger brand Witch Hazel so long and in so many shaves. This is a 16 ounce bottle. And that's where I'm at. I am going to get some of the suggested Thayer's Cucumber. More and more I think about that, the nicer that sounds. That sounds very enjoyable, like a very nice scent. I've just used my washcloth to get and hold cold water against my face during the rinse. And before I shave, I always hold hot water against my face for a good one to two minutes softens the beard. Let's dry this witch hazel. Skip past this for him, Gary. Right, and we're back. After this much, just a little pea size amount there. And all I've done was rinse. Ooh, that's got a burn to it. All I've done was rinse. I didn't add any styptic. Although I have it here waiting if I need it. Okay, for the aftershave today. I've put bit, blah, 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 sorry. I've been putting my aftershave on last. I'm gonna go with the uh, fine American blend classic aftershave. This is methylated. I really like it. I'm curious as to how these will smell together.
about a one on the burn scale, bordering a two. And yes, you guessed it, going for that second splash. Ah, put it on the back and the sides. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I meant to tell you, I put some of Dad's Paco Rabanne 1 million on this hand and some of my Arco Gold on this hand. And at, at, at first they smelled nothing alike, then they smelled similar, then I couldn't tell. Then this morning, I couldn't smell the Paco Rabanne and I could smell the Arco. So, uh... It smells just a little better in my opinion. Way better at eight bucks. Just thought I'd mention that real quick. Anyway, that uh, Paco Rabanne, at first I sprayed that on it, it came out real strong, just gung-ho, let's go, you know. And then it, it died as quick as it started. Anyway, got a good shave, got a great shave from that. I feel hydrated. So, Gillette Fusion Hydra Gel. Go figure, right? I feel hydrated from Gillette Fusion Hydra Gel. <laughs> anyway, when you squirt it out, this happens because the product continues to expand. Then it makes a mess. Then you have to rinse it. A little warning. Don't rinse it with hot water. You can cause issues with the bottle you go to use it next time and it goes crazy. I warned you. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're having some great shaves, some comfortable shaves, and that you're not nicking yourself too much. And uh, I hope the rest of your weekend is nice and relaxing. Until Monday, happy shaving. Take care.